Vince here to give you a quick tutorial on how to bridge a gap between your Mac and your Xbox 360 so that you can have a wireless connection to your Xbox 360 through your Mac anywhere in your house, anywhere that you can get a wireless connection. Alright, so first off you want to go into your system preferences right here. As soon as it pops up you want to hit network. Okay, and then you're going to want to make sure that your Ethernet and your airport are both connected so you're wireless on your airport and then you have your Ethernet plugged into your Mac right now and you want to go to manually type in 10.0.0.1 then subnet mask equals 2.5.255.255.0 uh, then click apply at the bottom right then you want to get uh, show all then you go to sharing and your internet sharing is probably off so uh, when you click on it you'll be able to uh, share your connection from your airport and then you want to make sure that the ethernet box is clicked and then you want to click the internet sharing and then press start so it'll start sharing with it okay and then next off you want to get into your internet browser and type in myipaddress.com whoop I spelled it wrong let me see here if I can Alright, that's better at myipaddress.com. Okay, and what this is going to do is give you your IP address for your computer so that you can type it in on your Xbox when we get over there. So uh, make sure to write this down or keep the window open so that when we get into the Xbox you can type it in right there. Okay, now so we're on our Xbox, scroll all the way down to system settings, then you want to get to network settings down though. Click it and then we will go make sure your Ethernet is connected so wired connect port is checked. Then go to configure network, then IP settings, the first one, then hit manual. Then for your IP address, you want to put 10.0.0.2. And as soon as you got that typed in, press done. Okay, then the subnet mask, we have 2.5.255.255.0. .255 make sure you got that in, then click done. Alright, and then the gateway is 10.0.0.1, so the same one that you put on your computer, and then click done. Okay, now we click done, make sure those are saved, then we go into the DNS settings. Okay, then once again you want to hit manual, and your primary DNS is the router number of your wireless connection, so mine is 192.168.0.1, and that's pretty standard on most of them, you might want to double check on yours. Okay, so you've got that, press done. Okay, then scroll down to secondary DNS, and this is the one that you got off your internet browser. So make sure that your IP address is entered in this one. Then click done, and then click done to make sure they're safe. Uh, click back, and then you want to test Xbox Live connection. Now this will take a moment and it should be up and running. Okay, so what this is, is just giving me a little warning saying that my connection isn't the best. Um, I haven't noticed anything uh, through the game performance. I haven't been slowing down uh, at all. My Netflix is streaming HD. I haven't noticed too much. So I uh, exit out all this and then what you want to do is sign into your profile just to make sure so I'm signing in Russ719 feel free to add me send me a message tell me who you are alright guys and that should do it to uh, bridge a gap between your Mac and your Xbox to get live um, if it works let me know uh, comment if you need any help I'll be sure to answer them uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out our site we have loads of stuff I'll have links at the bottom. Thank you, guys.